Good morning, here is today's prayer. Dear Father in heaven, help me to never be found lacking integrity. May integrity and uprightness protect me, because my hope, Lord, is in you. Psalm 25 verse 21. I pray that you would work in my life to draw me to you, that I would live rightly and holy unto you. Please help me to always be a person full of integrity. Help me to have undivided devotion to you. Help me to firmly adhere to my faith and to my Christian values. Help me to practice biblical ethics and to be of sound mind and good character. Father God, I pray for my loved ones, that each one would come to know, love, follow, and serve you. Help me to be an example of Christ-like love and character so that the people I encounter will know that Jesus was sent from God to save them. Thank you my Lord and my God. In the powerful name of Jesus I pray. Amen. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. And I will pray the Father. And he will give you another Helper. That he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of Truth. Whom the world cannot receive. Because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him. For he dwells with you and will be in you. John 14 verses 16 to 17. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Truth. Jesus sent him to indwell all believers to witness to them what is truth. There is much error in the world today in advertising, in business and in human relationships. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit into your life to reveal divine truth to you. People who refuse to believe in Jesus do not know the truth. They think they're right about spiritual things, yet because they deny Jesus, they don't know the truth. They may try to lead you astray, telling you they have the truth, but if they deny the Bible, they don't have the truth. John 17 verse 17. Some will mislead you intentionally about spiritual things, while others do it ignorantly. If they do not agree with Jesus, they don't have the truth. Jesus said, I am the truth, John 14 verse 6. When you are yielded to the spirit of truth, he will communicate truth to you. Will you let him control your thoughts? Holy Spirit, be my guide. I seek truth in the Bible, John 17 verse 17 and I seek truth in Jesus, John 14 verse 6. The Spirit of Truth is sent to live in you forever. He was not sent to help you occasionally, nor intermittently. Rely on the Spirit of Truth to guide you at any time, and all the time, no matter what issues you face. The Spirit of Truth will help you understand the Bible and Jesus. Holy Spirit, come guide my thought processes. Guide my reading and listening so that I can know the truth. I yield to your instruction. Amen. Go deeper. Mark 9 verses 14 to 29. The Holy Spirit will lead you into truth. Tomorrow, Jesus, a prophet without honor, 